I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back, everyone. I am the Dungeon Master, and this is Doomsday Aftermath. We are rejoining the party after they have lost Viv and uh, the Batman who frags and the Robin King have escaped after uh, getting electrocuted by great king rat and trapped in a bubble cage by deep knight and uh the robin king teleported out of there and great king rat's not quite sure what happened to the batman who frags because he passed out from getting electrocuted as well and um so now you know, you guys are dealing with the loss of Viv. You've called her number and gotten, um, you know, her supervisor or whatever who told you that, uh, you know, somebody else would be uh, replacing her. And so you guys are just kind of, you know, back at the base dealing with all of this. Um what do you what do you guys want to do well deep knight has just sort of standing there in disbelief and just sort of is has these thoughts are just rushing to his head and he's just sort of very confused and all And you guys? Uh, So, you know, sorry. Oh, go ahead. So he's taking it uh, visibly, maybe the worst of anybody. And uh, as soon as they got back, to 
You cut out early there as soon as you get back. Hello? Is there anybody out there? Are you still with us, Tremor? Yeah. Audio problem? I think Great King Rat is having some. Yeah. Happens, don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I wasn't worried about it in particular, just wanted to get your uh, final statement there. Oh, yeah, no, um, Great King Rat is uh, physically shaking, and then as soon as they go back to the base, he's in the kitchen. In the kitchen? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. All right. I just wanted to make sure I heard that right. Uh, and Tremor? Uh, I, 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 I really don't know. It's, he's just kind of sat around processing, I guess. Yeah. Well, um, that is what is going down, but, um, you guys also know, you know, the Batman who frags is dangerous, but now with the Robin King and his psychopathic magic hell knife wielding ass, like it has doubled the danger and you guys know now, you know, that their plan is to bring the entire multiverse to bear against your universe and uh, the entire dark multiverse to bear against your universe and absorb you into the dark multiverse. Which is no good. Not... I'm incredibly happy about it. Well, I mean, I'm not best pleased. Well, we gotta start figuring Kite out. Kite Man we... has a terrible hangover. Please keep it down. Kite Man shouldn't have a hangover. He was on duty. Kite Man was off for the night. Killer Wayne, Moth said it was okay. Wayne, I don't much care for some of your friends. I. Me neither. Hello. Anyway, we gotta start tracking these fucks down. Kite Man was not kidding. Please bring it down a notch. Kite Man, get a motel. I will hurt you. I did not. Somebody died tonight. Shut the fuck up. Kite Man feels awkward now. You should. Yeah. People are dead. Yeah, that, that's a that's a pretty fucking good thing that you do. Yeah, so he goes and uh, get, gets himself a hotel. Let's you guys continue on with your planning phase. Well. All right, I'll stop. Keeping... Oh, there, there are like beer cans all over the place too. Uh, as long as I have um, 
access to a heat source and two cooking utensils, I can. Uh, yeah, I mean, the kitchen is a little torn up. It appears as though, like, somebody was really drunk and tried to make popcorn or something. And, um, also the, uh, the strategy room, the, the planning table has been turned into a giant beer pong table. It just, this place just really went downhill. Without Viv, it's been, it's been, not, it's been talking. It's been like four hours since any of us have been. It's been so yeah. long time. Yeah, the this is more correlation and not causation. <laughs> so yeah, the place is torn up, and you guys are, you know trying to find clean utensils to cook with and all of that and uh it's it's just a mess there's a couple of people still passed out i'm just i'm just going to hop on our fucking Police scanner, maybe whatever our Justice League equivalent of the police scanner is, and just start listening out for signs of the fucks that kidnapped us. Yeah. So everything so is going to help as well. Okay. So, uh, everything's like I mean I don't want to say quiet. But quiet on that front. Uh, you know, there's there's a bunch of other stuff going on. It's Gotham. So, you know, people are getting beat up and mugged and all of that. But um, there's, there's no, like, leads as far as the Batman who frags or the Robin King. And uh, bad data. Uh, whenever you're ready, I I I I am here. I exist. <laughs> okay, so um, it wouldn't it wouldn't take long before you guys uh find somebody accessing the Justice League building via Viv's access uh codes, um, but. Because the system is so advanced, it knows that she's dead, so it alerts you that somebody is trying to enter with sure. with with uh you know the these codes and um bad data you find yourself uh unable to to get in via the codes that you are trying to use uh do you decide to do something different or do you wait for them to come answer their door? Yeah, I, I, I sit down and wait. That's essentially a very expedient form of ringing the doorbell. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Wayne's there almost instantly when he gets the thing on the fucking Justice League Alexa or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's basically, you know, something like that. Uh, and uh, so... You open the door or look at the security footage or whatever, and you see what looks like a tall, slender, very well-dressed robot with a glowing uh, blue face. What in the dickens? They stand very casually, by the way. Mm, uh, occasionally looking down to check uh, their wrist as if they were wearing a, a watch. Uh, sir, it doesn't seem like you 
you are from around here. Uh, are you? Oh, yes. That's very true. I'm from very far away. I'm looking for one, Wayne. I like I like the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just uh, wanted to. I just wanted to comment that I like the way the the tone changes, like uh, one of those um, automated uh, teller systems. That's like, this is an automated phone call for Chad. Yeah, and it, and it goes back to to the robot tone. Like it was pre-recorded. Yeah. Uh, you're uh, using uh, my, my dead friend's credentials. So, uh, I mean, I'm going to have to like assume that you send by them, those, those people. Oh, yes, I was sent by him, great as he is. And, not to worry, Viv is fine, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> I was the one that was sent along to sweep up her ashes. She's been Cheers escorted to back to where she belongs, but for now, I'm here. I am Hi. Mr. Pix, by the way. Nice to meet you. I am uh, a department director in the Reaperoid class of baking operators. A, a what? Reaperoid. Specifically, a being charged with custodial duties, duties as to pertaining to souls, unquiet, undead, and other mortal affairs. And the recovery of lost agents when they are terminated. It helps if you don't ask too many questions. Well, if anything, you're just in time to, to help us figure out this this mess with with what I assume is a is an alternative dimension invasion. Oh yes, that was another reason for my being sent here. Such nasty business those ones are. I am here to help with that as well. I am coordinating uh, other <clears throat> forces in other areas. Can't speak too much on that. Need to know places. But I am here personally to help you and to look after Mr. Wayne. I can call you that, right? I understand you do have multiple calling titles. Yeah, talk. Call me whatever you want. I see. Well then, proceeding. Let's not talk at the door, shall we, please? May I come in? Yeah. Wonderful. So, gentlemen, gentlemen, what are we to do about this situation? Or rather, what are you intending to do, is the question I'm asking. As he points to the mess left all over, over the Justice Hall in Gotham. Well, this is an odd point, but I have a variety of skills. I'm going to begin helping with that. As, 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 uh... I was going to say, the reason I go about this is because I have three ranks of speedster, so I dramatically cut the time it takes to do it down. Yes, but you also have variable power, right? I do. I have a variety of things I can do. Well, not a variable power. I have an array power. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you had a power that you could change. I can change it, but within a couple select options, and none of them are pertaining to housework. Uh, can you split yourself into multiple beans? Actually, I did take a duplicate, so I can duplicate once. Yeah, so you keep one form of yourself here to talk to them while another one uses your speedster powers to go clean. Anyway, as he's whipping about, I uh, return my attention to the rest of the party and go, well, that'll be done soon. So, beyond uh, the odds. Did you just multiply yourself? Yes, I did indeed. I have a variety of tricks available to me. 
To allow you to understand a bit more of my nature, I am, unlike the operator you were previously uh, familiar with, am a pure nanoform being. And with this to display, you can see various parts of his morphology kind of shift uh, sh subtly. Uh, black voxel-like uh, emanations floats and disappear off his back as uh, his uh, limbs slightly wiggle, indicating that they possess no actual skeletal structure. I can do a variety of things by manipulating my mass and manipulations of other key underlying energies. So, yes, I could do some impressive things. This duplicate trick is one of my favorites. It has so many applications. <laughs> well... It's going to take more than duplicating to deal with what we're dealing with. Specifically, there are two things we have we are having problems with. Ah, uh, those being one, a a Lobo version of of Batman that has an incredibly strong chain, and a and number two. A robin that has some sort of white, strange magic. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, I have had one of these uh, entities detailed to me in one of the reports I've read already. The one created by R. <clears throat> I am familiar with him. I did not meet this other robin, you called it? Yes. He seems interesting. Magical ability, you say? What kind? I'm not really certain, uh, uh, Grey King Rat, uh, you're better with the magic stuff, uh, do you know what it was? If I'm better at magic stuff, you're absolutely dog shit, I, uh, yeah, he had a knife that sent you to hell, and probably some form of teleportation. A knife that sends you to hell, and some form of teleportation, what a... Cute set of tricks. And Tremor, you would have seen his cloak start to glow when uh, he teleported, so you know that he's wearing the uh, Shroud of Rags or whatever it's called. The the cloak that makes Rag Man. Ooh. Rag Man. A, oh a Jewish God. hero? You're not anti-Semitic, are you? Every fucking hero you pick is like PL-14. <laughs> Ragman is immensely strong. He's like, he's like as fucking strong as the stranger. The stranger? Yeah. Like, I yeah, that that thing is. The aspect of the, the, the literal god of the DC universe. Oh, you mean the Spectre. The Spectre. Hmm, I see. Yeah, Ragman's like, depending on the, the, the talent, he's just fucking busted strong. Yeah, well, Ragman's Ragman. stupid strong, yeah. Yes. And not only that, but we were also dealing with the problem of trying to gather up all the uh, copycat bat folk and trying to get them to uh, to to uh law to uh join the league of justice yeah that way they, you guys can all get injustice did i see that is very interesting but significantly less interesting <clears throat> yes i understand that Oh, come on I... now. Don't you want to go talk to Selena Kyle and convince her to stop pretending to be Batman? No. No. Oh. Uh, speaking uh, of, you know, out of character, the thing I picked up is a limited close range, um, limited in like three ways, close range um, flexibility. I need, it's a substance that I create with some equipment. It's a double affliction, uh, fortitude saves, uh, poison made out of the average bio factor. Makes them that, um, non Makes them what? The thing that makes them different from a person. Just concentrate down on the fucking thing. 
It's you're, enough. You're, you're, you're breaking up quite a bit there, buddy. Yeah, you're oh. roboting. Oh, that's... All right. How much of that did you hear? Uh, like none of it. J just say it all again. Am I coming through better? Yes. Is this better? All right, yes. Perfect. Yeah. No. Uh, it's a double affliction, limited in the fact that I have to both make it and can only you know have a certain amount of it and all that. Uh, it's essentially just a poison made out of uh, Great Congrats uh, aberrant bioform, like the thing that makes him a fucked up little rat man. Okay. Yeah. I'm very proud of it because I managed to get it's a two it does two conditions at once and I got it for next to nothing. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh what what do you guys intend to do then? Well, I obviously want to remove uh, this extra planar threat from this reality, but how about doing that is still up for discussion, and others might have other plans, to which I could bemusedly attend. Oh, by the way, uh, in this time, you guys have heard back from the uh, Justice League Metropolis, uh, the Super Force, the Super Friends, and uh, they have defeated uh the atlanteans in battle um and signed a a peace treaty with them uh but essentially that treaty uh states that you guys are now banned from uh going to atlantis and interfering in their affairs um and Queen, but what Queen, about the Queen, Queen? Queen Mera has been banished. What? Yeah. So this so, night is just sort of like sort of just drops the pen. Just he just drops all what he's doing and says, "What in the world has that League of Justice done?" Well, he we were supposed you were supposed they were supposed to. Say, they, the queen from the clutches of the ocean king. How yeah. could this get that bad? Well, they they had to make a deal with Orm. So, bet they didn't even get my fucking trident back. Nope. Fucking useless. Deep Knight is going to say, "No, no, Atlantis isn't important right now." What's important is that we deal with the Batman who, uh, what is the term he uses? Frag. That is, uh, Deep Knights are talking. Yeah. It don't matter. Uh, we ran into these guys accidentally twice, I think. Uh, t take advantage of their dust, though. I got a feeling we can draw at least one of them out pretty easily with goading. Well, if anything, it should be the one that is that is that has the teleportation magic that we should draw out because he seems to be the smartest one. And that may very well be impossible. Yeah. So uh, instead, let's uh, trap the big stupid one and then cut him up into little pieces. Tiniest, finest pieces we can cut them. Scatter them all over the earth. Sounds like a plan to me. Whatever works. So, uh, 
though I really feel like that we should at least deal with the teleporting Robin, since he has the most brains with him. Okay, how? Well, we, even if we don't have an answer to that question, it's still an important thing to know. He is yeah. a okay. desired target, even if we can't get to it. It, it will be it goes without tackled saying. in time. It goes almost completely without saying that, yes, we want the mastermind, but also he's the mastermind, and, like, it's going to be difficult to get him. If you have any ideas, deep nights, uh, guy, uh, please. I'm all ears. Well, you do I'll have a bit I... of tail as well. My head's at least 40% lit. Come on. I'll ask some of my minor reapers to look into it. Maybe they could sniff out their home. I imagine it's quite well protected against various mm, standard snooping methods, both mundane and magical. But in time, they are soul bearing creatures. No sniff. Don't you love how this guy talks about souls even more than Viv? Breaking around hates yeah. this guy. <laughs> Fair enough, that's fine, but there's kind of a tonal shift in the character and that Viv was at least an infiltrator agent. This is just straight up an outsider. He doesn't give a damn. He doesn't look human, he doesn't talk human, he's ominous. Very. Yeah. The picture of him in the game kind of looks like a like a blue. It's very small, but I but oh wait, no, that's his face. I thought he looked like a blue version of the mask from like the mat, the movie The Mask. No, he he looks kind of like an android, like a, a what was that? I robot. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I actually don't know if they would have any magical protections from because the only two things I saw him do that could be magic or heard him talk about doing both involved items he owned and not something he could innately do. Oh, that is true, I suppose, but I know who's backing them, so I have reasons to believe they're taking every precaution. He's quite thorough. And who's that? Ah, that is such a touchy subject to explain. No, we're all ears. <laughs> the answer is, is that, well, one of the creatures behind some of the terrible things happening there uh -huh. could be described as a... Uh, Hicks makes a very rolly motion with his hand. A dark multiverse equivalent of, uh, well, the if sort of. Say God, I'm behind. going to flip my shit. But I was going to say, a dark multiverse equivalent of one of the creatures that are, well, patroning me. What? What's that? Uh, what does that mean? So I there, mean that, I mean that they are being supported by an evil equivalent of my God. Well, that's just fucking wonderful, isn't it? It's not ideal. That sounds troubling. So, uh, I'm I'm Drury here. Uh, let me get this straight. Uh, you work for the guy who's trying to take over our universe? Yes and no. Multiverse theory is a bit of a problem there, isn't it? I do work for one of him, but not that one. It's a different one. Here it's a bitch. Right, but, 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 like, this guy is basically doing the exact same thing that your boss is doing, but just, like, you guys are opposed. You're like AT&T and Sprint. A little bit we to the left, as it were. I wouldn't describe it as the exact same thing. It might be hard to see the grander uh, picture of everything from here, however... The forces at play have truly different end goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're Dairy Queen and you're Burger King. Uh, I don't really need to entertain your 
<laughs> analogies. But hey, I'm not just true. an NPC. I am somebody's paid for minion. You do have to acknowledge me a little bit. I am fine. Now. I'll answer it. How <laughs> does this make you feel? That version of my data is, well, the acting agent of and main perpetrator of a cosmic form of entropy that seeks to destroy all of reality that exists. Okay, and what's your guy? An agent of cosmic balance. He means to maintain the integrity of reality as it is, so that little mortals may go on making decisions and causing problems and all the things that they do, Can so I... that free beings may remain free. That is the ultimate goal of our organization. Can I can I roll insight versus that? That's technically the correct answer, Adarakis. Oh, okay. It is not offering 100% of the information, but that is actually the stated goal of the organization, to maintain the uh, integrity of reality so that mortal beings may continue being free world sapients that exist. And you're not the agent of anything funny whatsoever. As far as I am aware, and I should be aware, the, the answer to that question is no. Okay. <laughs> I have a question for you. What is that? What is that question? Are you magnetic or more not? I am composed of... This is an interesting question to feel. It's not one I expected. I am composed of a material that has certain flexible quasi properties. So the answer is sometimes magnetic, sometimes not. All right. Schrodinger's magnetism? If one wants to use a, tur a tortured turn of phrase. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Drury, uh, what what were you saying about Drury there, Great King Rat? Oh, yeah, no, as I, I got rid of his, I, I undid his points last week. He's dead to me. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to get going then, because, like, obviously you're mad at me, so. I, some, you had a job to do, and somebody died. I told you to, I told you to lose my phone number. The fact that you're here makes me. Well, I was trying to clean everything up before you got home. I, you had a job to do that could have prevented the person from dying, and you did not fucking do it. You are dead. To me. Get I, the fuck out of my. Skin. I did try. Well. Uh, I don't know how hard it is to fly across the bay and fucking talk to a person. Uh, I, 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 I did. And Lex Luthor did this to me. And it's the first time you notice that he has a huge swollen black eye. You weren't even looking at him. You were so mad. But now, like, that he forced you to, like, you see, he's got a black eye that has swollen his eye shut. Take some fucking worry. Go, uh, take some time off. Call it a sabbatical. Call it what you want. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've just been hiding out here because I don't want to get punched by Lex Luthor no more. I don't blame you. He didn't even he use his super out. suit. Yeah. That's the problem with Lex Luthor. He always makes things worse. And, like, he he's pretty buff for a 50-year-old. Like, he, he jacked me up real good. I can imagine. Uh, we'll spend some time with you, Don. Yeah, I, I probably should. And so he calls a cab because he doesn't want to risk being seen flying around because he's that afraid of Lex Luthor. Your duplicate has finished cleaning. 
I, 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 I grab him by the hand and uh, reabsorb him. That is freaky. You know that? Hmm, I suppose. Never really considered how it might look to an ephemera. It looks like it Wonder looks Twin Powers activate. Well, in any case, we should probably head over to the, uh, Try and find the Batman who frags. Oh, I got an idea about that. Get this. Get this. So, uh... Uh... A little bit of something I, uh, I, I did paid off, and, uh... I, uh... How do I put this? This is still... I took the last two ranks in benefit money because I had two points and I thought it'd be funny. Uh, so, uh, the, the whole, uh, the Penguin and I fully capitalized on the bubble left behind by Wayne Industry. And so now I'm going to use some of my money to take out a bunch of attack ads against uh, the Batman who brags. I'm going to do a full WWE call out and see how pissed off I can make it. And we'll lure him down to the docks and drop some shipping containers on it. Yeah, yeah so, great idea. interesting plan. So, uh, so, Great King Rat already had a bunch of money from investing in steel industries, and um, he took all of that money and invested it in uh, GameStop and Bitcoin at the right no. time. No, come on. Why not? At least put it in the setting. It it is. This is this is modern like times and and all of that. Uh and DC is is widely like the real world except for, you know, a few key cities. And and I should probably try and see if Shark King is around. Because he well, could we can also make it, we can make it uh, some, um, you know, investing in LexCore at the right time since he all of a sudden took off. But either way, you basically doubled your money. More than doubled. Uh, More than double. Oh, yeah, no, I'm a billionaire now. Nice. There's a two point difference between having $10 million and a billion dollars. Yeah, that's why I said GameStop, because if you would have bought GameStop when it was trading at under $10 a share and then sold it when it was at like 400, that's, you know, a 4,000% profit. It would break your hats like 47. You'd have no idea that's even happening. Yeah. You think, you think this man knows how to use Reddit? But... Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just is that bad at it that he invested in GameStop heavily, and and uh, you know it turned out to be the dumbest, smartest thing he could have done. It was probably Drury, to be fair. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, maybe you put Drury in charge of of doing some stuff, and he like, you know is a genius so he hooked you up either way you you made a shit ton of money fantastic regardless i'm taking out a bunch of a, a lot of those uh like the fuck you baltimore style like almost fake ads to uh just really antagonize the batman and friends okay put them on all the stations that run in um all the all the radio stations that run in the subways, all the uh, the TV stations that are playing on the and all on, on and all the while TV. I'm trying to get in contact with uh, Deep Knight is trying to get in contact with uh, Great King Shark. 
<laughs> All right. Well, hold on just a second. Let's uh, let him finish about the attack ads, and then we'll deal with that. Uh, yeah, no, uh, all the all the radio stations that play in public, all the TVs that uh, conspicuously play in banks inside of electric, electronic stores, you know, just everywhere on yeah. a blimp. On a blimp? Okay. On a blimp. It's like Batman who frags you're a piece of shit, meet me in the docks, we'll kick your ass. Yeah, you fuck you, Batman who frags. Frag isn't even a good, good catchphrase. I don't fuck know. It, you, it, along. It, it it made it made Lobo pretty popular. Yes, but I just that's sort of the joke. I get it. I'm just saying, you know, it, it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, uh, here, here's a little something for uh for uh, great king rat this is this is oh, basically no. this is basically what he shoots he, he shoots a, a little video that plays on on TVs where like it it's kind of like this let me tell you something about this guy <laughs> and so uh you you do that and uh as we process the uh you know Dyna, dynamism of of that and what happens uh the dynamics of that and what happens uh we are going to quickly jump over to apparently deep t deep night wants to uh say a few words to uh king shark and king shark probably has uh precisely four words for him and uh so you know you uh send out some feelers unlike uh what jason momoa says you do indeed uh have the ability to speak to your fishy friends as a atlantean <laughs> so you you have uh you know um some some fish that travel and go bring him word and you wait a day and he uh he comes and meets you and uh you know what what do you want king shark is a shark king shark i really am sorry for that incident with the uh justice league i thought they had it all they had it in control but it seems they have proven me wrong yeah, king yeah. shark is a shark yes Things have gotten worse, haven't they? Yeah, King Shark is a shark. But listen, I need, we need your help. Specifically, there is going to be a villain called the Batman who frags. Yes, another imposter, and he wants to, and he wants to try and make a mess of things even more. Heck, even if he's. If he succeeds, it might even cause even a more headache to Atlantis. So, as a as a fellow Atlantean and a friend, uh, King Shark is a shark. Yes, yes, I know. I just and as as a shark, we I need your I need your help defeating him. He'll be at the docks. Uh, King Shark is a shark. Right. If you show up, I'll I'll, I'll consider that as a yes. King Shark is a shark. Yes. All right. It See you around. All right. King Shark is a shark. The punch are nods, and he prepares for the fight at the docks. Okay. So, any rolls should I make? Uh, you can roll for persuasion.
Yeah, Deep Knight sort of figures that that King Shark isn't going to do that, so he just going to is going to just prepare for the battle. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Great King Rat, you put out that video. Let me tell you something about this guy. Uh, and uh, you're surprised and maybe a little scared when suddenly a video starts playing on every screen across Gotham. It is the Batman who frags. And he says, Let me tell you something, you candy-sucking loser. Nobody but nobody calls me out. I'll frag you six ways from Sunday, anywhere, anytime. And then he names the, the place to, to meet him. And, uh... The line um, uh, start it, it it starts flashing the the address you know where to meet him the location and he what says uh, I don't know it's it's some like longitude and latitude coordinates like you know meet me exactly here and uh, uh, as that happens. He says, unless you're all talk and too scared to face up to the consequences of your words. The consequences of killing somebody today. Oh. Yeah, all right. What's that? Uh, I assume it's... Uh... A quick getting primer to Google something for me to figure out what's at those coordinates. What is it? It's a hanger. A hanger. Yeah, it's an industrial hanger. Oh. Huh? I'm deep into using the environment to fight this guy because he's like almost twice as strong as we are, so it'll probably work. Here I was ready to play uh, a game of mousetrap with a bunch of fucking shipping containers. Dang. So, uh... Not exactly the smartest thing in the world to just sort of fuck you that, but... We're gonna do it, right? I suppose we are. All right, can everybody see the map? Yep. So everybody roll initiative.
Mr. Pix, there is a door directly in front of you. Hey, I didn't say you could open it. <laughs> it said there was a door there. You gotta roll a technology check to open it. I don't know, it seems like he opened it. I know, he just goes around opening whatever he wants, apparently. What kind of door is it? It's a steel door, like a bunker door that opens with an electronic lock. Mm, so it's like water and air tight, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll roll. Wow, I rolled trash. That's trash tier even with your bonus. Yeah, I just don't have a great technology check. Yeah. You know, Mr. Pix is smashing buttons at light speed and just going like, hmm, yes, this is not easy. You're like Thor You're like... trying to figure out the passcode for the uh, emergency shuttle. You could always try to smash the door down. This door? But it's a fine door. It's just doing its job. Nah, fair enough. All right. Tremor, what do you do? Uh, I mean, I can try opening the door. You want to roll a technology check, or you want to smash it down? Uh, I'll try technology, because my bonus is the same. Unfortunately, you're unable to bypass the code either. Now you're really unable to. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, break it. Whoop. I did not see that. Nobody did. We're All just right, gonna yeah. ignore the text. Don't wanna don't wanna ignore the yeah, I'm just gonna fucking. I'm just gonna. Just gonna, just gonna not pick on the panel. Whoa, what happened? Uh, okay. What? My good? I, I heard a Discord group, so I thought. Oh. Oh. Uh, what are you trying to do, Great King Rat? Oh, so you might just try objects on the control panel. <laughs> on the control panel? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, no. so you destroy the control panel. Yeah. It is destroyed. Unless they, built this building, unless they built this building themselves, having no way to open it, does normally kick an electronic door open for fire safety purposes? Oh. Yeah. Let me roll to see if uh, he would have fixed that. That's something I know from my actual job. Yeah, he thought of a lot of stuff, but uh, he forgot that if you just rip the control panel out, that it'll open. Some, sometimes you just gotta be a caveman about things. Ooh. I'm done. Creep around a little. I do the creep. Oh, yeah. I got, I got movement. I'm small. I can hide. Things go terrible. I'll just uh, run somewhere else. Ah, a wall div, of course.
Another big door. Okay. Yep. Big ass door. Head back to the group then. No need to uh, stay completely exposed. I'm very tempted to crawl into that wall a bit, but uh, I'm not gonna. I feel like it's a bad idea. It looks comfortable. Yeah, there's a part of me that very much wants to crawl into that divot, but it looks like it's one of the most hopeless turret. You're like, it's a tarp. Alright. Oh, there's another big door. Even bigger door. So, is the door open? No. This door is open, yes. Then Deep Knight's going to open this door. If you point to the door that's open, I'm screen matching. I mean this one, the one that is closed in front of us. So, awkwardly, I've just been told to help bring in the groceries, so I'll be gone for a minute. Okay. Is this the way we're supposed to go? DM? What? Is this the way we're supposed to go? Through the closed door? No, through the open door. Okay, so... Notice the second closed door. There is a door behind you guys, but but it doesn't go anywhere. Oh. It opens on a brick wall. Oh, it's how we got in. I don't think you can move fifteen, can you? I think your max move is twelve, right? Sorry, just undo that. I love having ranks of speed. Yeah, I know it can it can seem like there's a lot of movement when you see Great King Rat moving around, but that's just because he has a whole lot of points in speed. Five. It's only five points. That, that's a lot, you know. Points that could have been spent elsewhere. It's part of an array, too, so I got uh, <laughs> all the other movement types. Yeah. All right, is that your turn, Deep Knight? Deep Knight? Hazard? Yep. Is that your turn? Is that yes, because I can't really do anything else. Right, you double moved. I just, you know, end your turn. All right. Uh, he said he had to help, so I'm going to at least move him up I to the door. I am just back. Oh, well, uh, how convenient. <laughs> Did it just cycle around to my turn? Yeah, it like literally just cycled to your turn. Okay. Uh Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh what's going on? Uh there Oh, go ahead, Great King, right? Oh, uh there's another big door up ahead. So I came back to let the uh, the technology folks try it their way before I just, you know. Huh. I need to just to the shattered <laughs> control panel on the floor. It's not just shattered. It has, like, literally a bite taken out of it. Oh, yeah, it's in pieces. It was eaten by a rat. It's, 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 it's like, <laughs> completely destroyed. Okay. So where is the next door? Through the door. Down the hall. To the right. Okay. Okay. So I will express the first part of my movement this way. So 
Where is it? Straight ahead. Like, oh, that? Like this thingy? Yep. Well, let's give her a whirl. Give it a whirl, girl. Straighten your curls. Wow, that was another garbage check. Well, your problems hide in your curls. Yeah, no, that sucked. If a 19 ain't doing it, you know damn sure that ain't. So, um... Yeah, I'm just, uh... Mr. Pix will, uh, um... Extend his arm, uh, back through the hallway he came through and put his thumbs down. And then end his turn. You guys see a arm just stretch down into the hallway and put its thumb down, but you can't see where his body is, so you can't tell if this is odd or not. Well, Steve and I certainly saw, probably saw it because it was sort of like... Yep, you saw it. And Deep Knight is like, well, that is certainly an interesting ability. I, I... I, I I may or may not have some ranks of elongation. I am not the plastic man. My tuxedo is real. My nanites take it apart and put it back together every time I form. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. Wait, if you know that's a part of your body, doesn't that mean you're doing the exact same thing? Your tuxedo is just like a different part? Just a different No, no, the skin. tuxedo is real, but being nano-reconstructed on the cellular level each and every time he is transformed. Actual okay. silk tie, actual, you know, polyester or whatever, uh shirt and jacket and pants and then the molecules are reassembled each and every time. Yeah. It's better than just pretending to wear clothes. Yeah, Way better. I really am wearing clothes. Yeah, like expensive ones. His, t his tie cost four figures. No, it doesn't. You made out of nanites. To be honest, they could probably print these like party streamers back where I come from. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. But still, it's it's a it's a Donald Trump level of tie. So incredibly gaudy. Yeah, and he insisted it had to be red. So definitely mock him for that. Don't okay. mock me for thinking a red tie is slick. Have you ever heard of Agent Forty Seven? No, but I've heard of yeah. not wearing a red tie. Yeah, and I've made fun of him, too. <laughs> Goddamn Mr. Clean over here. <laughs> oh, 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 the guy. Oh, that guy. He wears a red tie, really? All right, so, uh, Great King Rat. All right, time to, uh... Time to engage in perhaps some more uh, concussive uh, inquiry. Some more uh, kinetic sort of, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, kinetic Let engineering. Find... Let me find them. I keep. Accepted.
All right, you destroy the control panel, yes? Hello? Hello, Great King Rat? Hello, testing, two, Hello. three. Can you, what was the last thing you heard me say? Uh, did something about moving up here or whatever. I forget what exactly oh. you were saying, but I didn't hear you confirm that you destroyed the control panel. Yeah, I did. I also wanted to be completely honest and say that um, one of the places that uh, the the fire alarm thing is not true is some military. Oh, no, this isn't military. Yeah. Any civilian operation which is fired has to have fail safes for fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh so now there's another one. Oh. And he and me having to wait a turn to do it again. Possibly. I'm just gonna stay right here then. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go sniff that div because it's it's conspicuous. You just can't help yourself. You're like a dog walking past a tree. I got it. I, I don't understand the div. But I, I'm gonna I'm not gonna move there because there's something fucked up happening with my mouse. Uh, but in media res, I'm moving to the div. Okay. So you get all up in that divot. Can you uh, uh, roll a perception or no? Yes, I can. I still got my track man. It's just hard to navigate. I understand. I just I wasn't sure. You're fine. Oh, man. There, there has been another rat man here. You're fucking... Oh my god. Dark on? Universe Wayne. Dark Universe Wayne would be a good guy, though. Oh my god, a good guy who just recently had a heel turn. Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> just like a fucking like a fucking Salvation Army dad who just recently went full Joker. <laughs> Implying the Salvation Army doesn't already go full Joker. Well, you know what I mean. The Salvation Army is already pretty Joker fan right now. Yeah. So. What else? Oh, that's my turn. I'm sorry. I, oh my god, there's another rat man. It doesn't Wait. smell like you, though. All right. All right, now you can move Deep Knight. I'm sorry. Okay, so Deep Knight is going to walk over here and smash and follow suit by smashing the, uh, sm smashing, uh, the uh, sort of thing. There, there's yeah. nothing to smash right there. Where is the uh, key panel? You just see a door. Deep Knight sort of cricks his neck and says, "All right, let's see if I can get this open." And he's going to try and lift the door open. Okay. Hell yeah, that's the superhero skit. Atlantean go go juice go. Not just Not doing something I've literally done in real life. <laughs> also, uh I'm going to spend the uh the power points I've earned into a uh, strength. <laughs> Real quick? Yeah. Since I have, like... 
I, 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 I am I, going I, to allow it. Go ahead. I'm just giving you a little help. So, how many PowerPoints goes into... How many PowerPoints does it take to up a rank in strength? It's two points it's two to points. increase each rank, right? Yep. Oh. You can also put... How high is your strength right now? Because it's four. Oh, uh, that's. I think that's pretty good. you get more if you did put the the three points into a, a power of this. Yeah, but if you I, if you put it into uh, super strength for lifting, yeah. So where is that? Uh. Thunder powers. Yeah, hold on. Also, don't feel bad, uh, Hazard. Pretty much everything I've ever done to Wayne has been during the early stages of an actual game. Okay, it's called power lifting. Your lifting and carrying capacity is out of proportion with the rest of your strength. Each rank of this power gives you plus one to your strength rank for determining how much weight you can lift and carry, but does not increase your strength damage or other effects of your strength rank. So you can get it at one point half the price, but just for the purposes of lifting and carrying, which is all you need to do. You just need to lift the door. So, Okay, so... I'm going to put it under con under uh, passive. Under powerlifting. Okay, so let me uh, pull that on to you. And you can do this too, guys, by going to powers. Like, it has all of your powers, and you can drag and drop them and all of that. But uh, yeah. for now, let's just... Uh, I don't know where this goes. Here, maybe? No? Okay. Here? Oh, yep, there it is. Power lifting. Look at that. It automatically added it. Or did you do that, Hazard? I added it. Oh, okay. Good man. All right. So, how I'm many... Only one rank, right? Uh, however many ranks you want to put in it. I have... I have... Nine, ten. I have three points to spare. What, uh, whatever you want to do, man. It's it's one point of strength per rank. So. So one hero point per rank. No, no, not hero point. Mm -hmm. One one point of strength per rank. So. Adding to strength increases the uh, power of power lifting. No. No, no, no. Adding to power lifting increases your strength, but just for the purposes of, of uh, you know, lifting. So, yes. Uh, and it costs zero. It costs one. It costs one point per you okay. Can, can yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. So it's okay. I, so I'm going to put I'm going to put uh, four points into powerlifting. Four. Okay. Where'd you get the fourth? A hundred and seventy-eight. So minus. One hundred and eighty-one. That's that's. Oh, it's three. Yeah, three ranks. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. So now so, roll your strength, but remember to add plus three in the modifier box first. Oh man, you just can't lift it. You're like struggling. You're like, oh, it's too heavy. But then you reach deep within your Atlantean pride and you just rip the door open. You're like, I, I ain't losing to no stupid door. And he's just like, oh,
I feel and, like there goes the element of surprise. Yeah, and as you rip it open, it's, you know, chug, 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 gish! Oh, well, uh, I should have... I'm so sorry. The first time Great King Rat ripped out the control panel, it started an alarm that was like... Root, root. Uh. You know, so there's that. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. So, it was expected... Yeah, yeah. But now you rip the door open and and you can see a large uh, hangar bay and a red light spinning and, and an alarm blaring and yeah. Deep Moisture looks back and says, uh, fellows, I believe that that's, that I may have set the alarm. Oh no, Great King Rat did that the first time he yeah, but chomped. Deep Knight thinks he did. Oh, okay. No, oh, son of a bitch. Well, nothing doing now. Let's just, uh, let's just kill him. Sounds good to me. You know, that idiot actually thinks we're his friends. I hate him. I wish he was dead. Hey, let's kill him. No. I got a better idea. Let's sing without him. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do you do, Mr. Pix? Uh, well, let's see. Hmm. Start moseying around. Let's say I move here first. Let's say that. And go like, it's just another fucking door? It looks like one. Look up and sure enough, this is a blast door again, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to reach over, grab the console, and since I have the option, I'm going to try and look these split it open. Yeah. No. Oh, no. man, it's just like they set the password to something difficult. Normally, I kind of brute for force these things with my speedster powers, but this is still hard. You just said what the password was. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right. In which case, I'm going to end my turn here uh, after pulling my arm back. The password is Kettle Corn, but it's spelled with a Q-U. Alright, moving here first. Moving on up. And just double moving to here. I'm sorry, guys. Is like the exploring of this like not exciting? Is is, is would you rather would I you just rather... Uh, fast forward to you know the boss? Well, I I'm just I showed up looking fast. to kick some ass. I just it's just door and then another door and then another door. Yeah, I mean it was just supposed to be a little uh, bit to slow you guys down so that uh, you know. Uh, things can happen. Are you burrowing into the fucking wall? Me? <laughs> Where am I? What's going on? You wanted to go here. I I I haven't been able to control my character for almost fifty. Oh okay. Maybe. Yeah, it, it was it was like saying you wanted to burrow into the wall. I love I love uh, Fantasy Grand Unity. I furiously hate the fact that it no longer has the little uh, thing in the corner that lets you just move them out. Because without it, I cannot... Oh, uh, uh, un-full un screen and re-full screen. Nope. 
the the whole the whole software, not the not the map. Oh. Yeah, there's still not a thing. Really? Yeah, like that little that little little nubbin in the corner that you can. Yeah, my mine mine goes away but comes back when I when I unfull screen and refull screen. Uh, like the oh, maximize, uh, restore yeah. down and and then and then maximize again. That that's what works for me. Also. If you have a, a scroll wheel, if you press down on the scroll wheel and move it around, uh, that that moves the map as well. My mouse is busted. Oh, uh, sorry. That's hilarious that the rat's mouse is not working. I, the irony is not lost on me. Okay, good. I'd have to kick you from the game if it was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'd only be fun. It's only right. I mean, I put up with a lot, but that's just too far. <laughs> Still no luck on moving the map? No. Do you want me to move you up to the door? Sure. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I got the thing. I still can't zoom in or out, but I can. I'm going to chew a hole through the door. Or the that's, floor. That's kind of a dick move. Uh, also, this is like uh, super uh, steel, like the best fucking steel. Can you chew through that or no? What is this building? Well, it's not military, but it's made of steel. Like not, not super steel, like Superman rated steel. I'm just talking about like the best materials that like normal people can get. Oh, yeah. If it's less than titanium, I can chew through it. Yeah, it's not titanium. This is like a, a old um, um, hangar for for private aircraft that was owned by the Waynes. See, it'd be funny if it was owned by the Wayins. No, no, not the Waynes. The Wayins. Yeah, those guys. So, uh, if you can, can you get through a solid foot of it? How far can you get? Um, not very quickly, but I can definitely. Well, that's what I mean. Like, you probably can't like bust through it this round, huh? No. Is the floor concrete? Because I can do that way. Uh, the floor is concrete. Yeah, I could, I could, I could make, I can get myself through a foot of concrete. Okay, but like. You know, there there's dirt in between there too. Like, can you can you burrow to the other side of the door in one round? I have a burrowing speed. Okay, so you can you can chew through the six inches of concrete, burrow five feet, and then chew through the six more inches of concrete. Probably that sounds that sounds like a thing a giant I could do. Okay. Uh, then there you go. Oh. Great. Uh, Hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Uh, There's something terrible over there, isn't there? You watch TV, huh? 
Yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, what were you watching when you saw it? Uh, curiously enough, uh, WWE. It was watching SmackDown. I love that shit. Is it, uh, is it super different here from what you're used to? Oh, yeah, for sure. In my universe, those guys, uh, participate in actual Hell in the Cell matches. Like, the Christian Hell? Yeah. Well, I know we're about to kill each other. Walk, walk me through that. Like, so, the devil has a piece of hell that they shape into a cell and then the loser dies and has their soul taken by the devil. Honestly, that sounds, that sounds, that sounds fun until you get like attached to a wrestler and then you can like depend on social relationship. And as I'm saying this, I'm, I'm just very, very gradually just inching my way back into the hole. <laughs> Ah, ah, you almost got me. I was going to forget about my ready to action, but uh, I'm going to hit you now. You sly dog, you have me dialoguing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me the ready to action. Wah, wah. Ah, fuck you, bitch. Hey, we we was being all kinds of civil here, and you just go and ruin it like that? You did try to hit me. All right. I'll be civil if you want to be civil, I say. No, 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 no. I, no I, I prefer to kill you. All right. <laughs> Mr. Pix is like, so how'd it go? Uh, he's over there. Uh, I see. So. And I figure if we um step aside, he'll uh, open this little door for us. Uh, Mr. Pix is going to roll their shoulders and go, hmm, yeah, that's. That would be sure convenient. Oh, well, hide the point. Just a little creature, and I got so frightened. Deep Knight sort of knows, notices that Great King Rat is sort of dashing out of the way, and then yeah, he's yeah. going to walk over here and prepare a prepare a uh, prepare a bubble beam for when the jerk gets through the door. Ooh, Ooh. resorting to name calling. Oh, he's been doing a lot of name calling himself. That's true. You know, honestly, I'm surprised you even watching. Uh, he doesn't have much to do while uh, Robin King is working on technology stuff. So you know, what's the ceiling of this room like? Flat, above your head. Made out of concrete. There are no, like, I-beams or uh, rafters or supporting girders or anything like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there's all of that. Okay. I extend my extendo arms up into uh, the space above and hoist myself up into it. And, so uh, basically, we're a gothic 
Inspector Gadget. If somebody wants to call me Inspector Gadget, it's fine. It's better than Demon. Do, 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 do. So, yeah. You can be both. Yeah, those, those are synonyms. That's the same thing. Ugh. <laughs> go, go, Gadget, sin against God. <laughs> hey, my actions are sanctioned by a God. Thank you. Go, go, Gadget, fall from grace. <laughs> That's pretty close to impossible. All right, so you reach up into the rafters and pull yourself into the uh, met- the steel like uh, angular cross beams. Yeah. yeah, and I am now hidden. Well, roll. Oh, you did roll stealth. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh wait, I I kind of silly. That's my general stealth check, but also I'm invisible. General stealth check. Yeah, like if they're trying to locate me by non-visual senses, cause I, I have the standard invisibility. I can smell really far. Hush us. Move into the door. Do do. Not, not. <laughs> what do you do? Shave and a haircut? Nah, just knock knock. You get. Two pounds back. I can't open the door. You'll have to. I was uh, told not to. Coward. Yeah, who are you to listen to someone? You're Batman. I am Batman! Yeah, Batman doesn't take orders. Batman doesn't take orders! So go ahead and open up this door. Wouldn't that be taking orders? Could you please open up this door? Ooh, tricky man. (laughs) Do you want to roll persuasion or uh, deception? Uh, I'll do, I'll do deception. Yeah. Oh, man, he seems pretty convinced. He's like, I am going to open this door and then I'm going to frag you. Fair enough. But I can't when it's not my turn. Oh, let me, let me, let me get that for you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just, you know. Yeah. Rules of the game and all. Yeah, no, it's fine. All right. All right. So, the doors open, and standing before you is the Batman who frags, and he frags you. Frags you. But before he does that, Deep Knight is going to frag him. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and try that, Skinny? He's talking to a man who... who is... who is covered in armor, and you decide to call him Skinny. Poor choice of words. All right, skinny. (laughs) I know, he he took offense to that one. And we know the arm is compensating for something. He's not skinny, if you're wondering. It just. Okay, okay. I'm not. I wasn't. It was just sort of like. Sort of like a. Foolish miscalculation. Oh, I no, we get it. You are buff. In real life, I'm skinny, but in I, real I, life, I, I'm buff. We, we don't we don't <laughs> care about real life. In real life, I got a dad body from hell. I used to be buff though. That was cool. Then I got old, and stopped caring. Sit ups take a lot of time out of your day. Yeah. All 
All right, so I hit. So now you fail by four degrees. You remember what happens now, right? Uh, it didn't add my bonus. Oh, what's your bonus? Uh, plus eight. Okay, thirteen. Uh, ten. Two degrees. Uh, so you're just one, uh, set of these. But you remember what happens now, right? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Did you use the fact that you're not actually as big as you are to get out of it this time, perhaps? No, you just stay in that chain. Ooh, I have a cool idea. As long as it involves staying in that chain, I'm in. It does not. Oh, well then I am out. Mm. Gonna take us on this gun. Produce my little vial of just vial stuff. Just awful stuff. Your vial of vile? Yes, and I'm going to uh, get it all over my, my little rat hand and then shove my little rat hands into him. Hey, don't touch me with that, you little freak. Am I targeting him? Yes. Cool. And yes, there is total metal music going. Uh, I can't if if I wasn't that. if I wasn't playing these on YouTube, I would totally have like some old school uh, Iron Maiden or uh, Slayer going. Oh yeah, uh, this isn't the same attack as normal. Uh, the roll should be against Fortitude. I cannot scroll down. Okay, so you need me to roll a Fortitude against what? Uh, DC 21. DC 21. Should be. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, hey, cool. Guess what? He's both, um, he's both vulnerable and fatigued, and that doesn't go away. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. Hell yeah. He's fat oh, and, uh, huge too? He's, yes, he's vulnerable and fatigued. Uh, I haven't fully decided. What do you guys think? Vulnerable and impaired or vulnerable and fatigued? Fatigued. Doesn't okay. fatigued grant the impaired condition? No. Fat huge basically funny. just means that you can only oh. move at half speed. Oh, fatigue grants the hindered condition. It's exhausted that grants impaired. That's very funny. Yeah, he's vulnerable and he's fatigued, uh, and he is he is in he has intense nausea, uh, physical chills. Uh, he's sneezing, he's coughing, and also he's uh, pretty itchy. He's sneezing. He's what coughing. the fuck did you do to me? Oh god! Oh, 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 that worked on you. That worked on your on your big body. Oh, buddy, you're in for a world of hurt now. <laughs> oh god now i really hope that i hit my next turn and now my hands are clean and i can do normal stuff with them nice i don't even want to know what that is I mean, like, yeah, I, I said I didn't want to know. <laughs> I can touch things without getting poisoned all over them. I can touch things. Yeah, that, see, that's what I was afraid of. Just see, I, I, know, just... I know you're thinking you're touching. Like, I, I can always see. I, I'm trying to fucking say it without saying the words "touch myself." God damn it! <laughs> yeah, and now you just did. Ha ha! I win. <laughs> Yeah, he can touch himself whenever. It doesn't affect him. It's, it's, his, it's his own bio fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's my turn. Let me see if I can. Nice little button. Come on. 
So he's so the Batman who frags is is currently uh is what? Vulnerable. He's perceived and vulnerable for him. I mean not for I mean not for him. Yeah, I mean you don't know what kind of shit he has that could combat that, but yeah. For the foreseeable future of this combat, he is both perceived. Unless he has Unless like he has bat mucinex in his in his utility belt. Uh, anti rat mucinex? Eh, you don't know. Should I create a bubble cage or should I suffocate bubbles? You should hurt him. You should hurt him. All, all right, suffocating bubble. Get he was on the bubble out and of here. And he said, Get your bubble out of here. Okay. Can you see your token or no? I can see my token. Cool, but nobody else can, right? I don't know how that works. I, uh, I, I don't... can. You can? Oh, you guys can see him because he's part of the party vision? Okay. Yeah. All right. I just have him set as invisible so that I remember that he's invisible. That makes anyway, sense. Um, what's going to happen is that Mr. Pix is going to slightly uncoil from uh, one of the uh, rafters and hang down slightly, and he's going to swing his arm forward, and his arm... His hand is visibly going to be covered in a splotch of gloppy uh, gray nanites that uh, lurch towards uh, the Batman who fray eggs. Ah. Uh, creepy. Yes, it is creepy. Uh, does a... Come on, good rolls. 76. No. Hits. No, it misses. All right, cool. Shush you. Uh, he then is making a will save against this effect. Well, no, I'm not. Oh my god. Uh, takes, that's a three degrees of success, right? Or am I wrong? You're right. Effect three. So, uh, this grants, uh, this is, this is a, what's the, what's the term I'm using? The very clinical, magical term. This is a um, polymorphing effect. He gains the disabled and transformed conditions. Oh my god. And he is transformed oh into a tiny pygmy human, about four feet tall, with all of his racial abilities removed. You see a tiny Batman who frags yelling at you. His voice has raised a few octaves. Hey, I'm going to frag you for that! You know what? what? I, have, like, let that up. I don't think... Oh, and I should explain what that actually looks like. Uh, when Mr. Pix's hand made contact, his fingertips visibly sunk through the surface of uh, the Batman who's fraying. And there was an odd, very eerie-sounding kind of... Uh, Tearing. It sounded very non-physical, like something that happened in a video game. And then with a snap and a crackle and a very audible pop, they were a pygmy. Mr. Pix oh. then withdraws his arm, uh, you know, returning it to his body. All right. I am going to just step out of the suit, like, just back out of it. And send it towards the Batman who frags in a meteor attack. The suit. The, the the suit that's wrapped up in his chain. Just like flies at him like a meteor. Oh, it was right on the fucking ah. Oh, it was right <laughs> on the edge of being a natural twenty. If only that counted for something. I'm, 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 
I'm gonna uh all out whatever the I'm gonna the, the all thing out that, whatever. The thing that makes me fatigued and try this again. Yo! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, give, give me one second. This will have to do for your token for now. Oh my god. That's one degree of success. Uh, so that's fine. Will it? Does it automatically apply the plus five to criticals? Uh, I think it does. Let's see. Uh, no, it does not. That should okay. be 39. Okay. Uh, so that would be an extra failure? degree of failure. So I would be, uh, staggered. Get fucked. <laughs> and then, uh, also, you are fatigued. Then I am. And then there, you see, you have a token for your human form. Yep. We'll we'll deal with uh you know getting a sheet and all of that, but for now at least there's a token to represent both. Yeah. Uh, and I should. I don't know if I should be hindered and vulnerable. Oh, oh yeah, probably not. Since the suit is the one that's actually wrapped up. But you are fatigued. And yep. then the Robin King teleports behind you guys and attacks. Nothing personnel, kid. And he attacks Deep Knight. Wow. Oh, but right, he's shit at damaging. No damage. Deep Knight is like, ah, it's the teleporting Robin fellow. Allow me to introduce you to my fist. Deep Knight's, Deep Knight's dodge and parry must be utter shit if it's if his toughness is 20? They're 1. They have to be 1 or 0. Uh... No, they can be 2 now. aren't? Can't they? Yeah. Because, yeah, that's a... Uh... Also, look at that. Look at that Batman who frags. Uh, look at his list of things. That makes me very happy. He <laughs> yeah, is funny. The funny little man. Yeah, either your toughness or your parry has to come down. Uh, both of them have to. Toughness and uh, dodge have to equal uh, power level times two, and toughness and parry have to equal power level times two. Oh. Yeah. And so, then fortitude and will right. are linked. Yeah, so right now... I don't know why my toughness is 20. That's alright, I'll fix it. There you go. <laughs> Natural 20. That was so good. Indeed. <laughs> And now he is a tiny man. T 
tiny man with a rock suit on him. All right. And I am going to bust out my blaster. And attempt to tiny frag you. All right, so if I'm targeting Tremor, do I need to do anything particular here? Uh, because it's targeting your your suit token, obviously, to get your sheet. But do I need to adjust anything no. for you not having the suit on you? Nope we uh we covered this last time when Tremor was knocked out. Uh, all of his stats are exactly the same. The suit is tough. Hey. Pathetic. Miss me with that gun shit. Use your finger like a real man. And, uh, uh, what the hell? I got a 17 and I missed? Uh, yeah, my dodge is plus 8. Dodge is plus 8. What about your Ford? My or, your sh or your Chevy. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> it is not. You are misquoting me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, gonna scurry in the hurry out here. And, uh... Now that he is very tiny, I'm super tempted to, like, you know what, I can do both. I can do both. Uh, which one of these two tokens down here is the Robin? Uh, the Robin King? Yeah. It's the one right under Mr. Picks. Cool. What is the yeah. other one? I'm the guy in the suit. Uh, why are you red? Uh... uh because the DM made the token. Yeah, I, I just grabbed a token for now, just to. Yeah, but it. it... Gonna uh, give the Robin King the same treatment I gave to uh, our our good friend Lobo. Just <laughs> open. Come on. Hey, give me a, give me that fortitude save against DC twenty one. Oh my god. If I can find this. Come on. Ah, oh, there it goes. All right, fair enough. Hey, Lobo, look, he's stronger than you are. Hey, ain't nobody stronger than me. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pick up Lobo and run away with him. <laughs> Deep Knight, after looking at that, and just says. <laughs> I do not know if I can take a picture or just laugh. Well, unfortunately, you cannot you cannot grab you cannot grab him this turn because uh, you already made an attack. Ah, uh, hey, you're going to hell in a cell, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm taking you to the bathroom of this place, flushing down the toilet. Look at you, you're four feet tall. I'm gonna brace you. Hey, why don't you bones. pick on somebody your own size? You are my own size now, bitch. We're the same size now. Fuck you. I'm hey, still you bigger where it counts. Size. Deep Knight, sort of looking towards Robin King, is going to... is going to simply... And bluntly, bubble cage him. Don't you ever learn? Haven't Actually, I no. ever told I you the 
definition <laughs> of insanity. <laughs> Sorry, there Sorry. Was yeah. something very funny about don't you ever learn? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> like I know, I know oh, you were oh. saying something else, Hazard, but Deep Night is just like that. Oh, all right, I forgot, and he's going to bubble blast him. Miss me with that. Bubble shit. I need to improve my attacks after this battle. Yeah, learning to aim is good. You're like friendly fire. Oh my god, I got the best idea. Can't wait. Mr. Pigs. Oh, I was muted. Oh, rip. Um, let's see. Uh, guess I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to start beating the shit out of Robin King. Wow, that's a terrible roll. I'm going to... I'm... I... I... I, because I can do this now. I'm going to spend a point of luck to re-roll that. One of the best abilities. In the oh my okay, God. so does it? Does, does it? The, the, the luck does the up to ten thing too. So does does? Oh, okay. Like, so it does a. Does a twice? Does a twenty three hit? It does a twenty three hit? Yeah. That's that's not the number. I know. It's, yeah, it, it does the up, up to it's ten. A, it's a twenty six. Oh, oh it goes. Oh, oh, it goes up to ten. Oh, yeah. it doesn't add ten. It brings yeah. it up to ten. Understood. Yeah. That is a very semantic thing, but yes, let me discover for you what is going on. Parry is an active defense. Correct. It is a uh, fifteen. So the answer is. Oh, wait, it says that the 16 missed, so that must not be right. Hold on. Five uh, plus. He, he's targeting the Robin King, who isn't... Uh, oh, Robin uh, King. Oh, there we go. Uh, 24. So, I miss. Miss. Barely. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Go so bad. It's okay. Don't do anything to blow blow blow. All right. Oh my god, did the Joker die? Because the fucking Undertaker for Clowns is here. Why are you always picking on me? Because it's fun and easy. And also, you're planning to destroy the world with, with your, with your dark, with your dark, uh, goth stuff. That's mostly unrelated to why I pick on him. You see this knife? Yeah. I'm going to cut you with this knife. All and right. If, and if you've sinned, you will go straight to the deepest depths of hell. Yeah. So, there's that. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that to you now. All right. Bullying you isn't a sin, you know. That's just hurtful.
Deep Night is like. Excuse me, were you trying to do something? Well, yeah, I was gonna punch you and then like torment you with this knife. Well, it doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah, you're bad at this. I mean, you really it. are bad at this. Also, you look like you've tripped and fell into a Spencer's gifts. You're lucky your mother is dead. She'd be very disappointed. <laughs> you look like a carpet fucked a nerd. The, all of these things you guys are saying are just like so unnecessarily hurtful that like it's got to be a sin. <laughs> Come on, good. keep it above the belt. Only verb, only physical abuse. Well, I I'm fine with it. Like. The pain is what I thrive off of, but, like, my knife now hungers to send you to hell. God, it makes me think of um, that blue sentinel that wielded a sword that had sinless engraved on it. I mean, you're, you're very welcome to try to send me to hell. And also, Great King Rat, hold still. No, I, I got, I got, oh, oh, little man, oh, little man, do I have plans for you? I pick him up. I lift him All off right, the ground because so he's four you, feet yeah, tall. So you gotta gra you gotta grapple him, so Alright, that's just an attack roll, right? Yeah. I just gotta make contact? Yeah. Three, cool. two, one. Contact. It's the nope. Oh wait, did I was I targeting anyone? Oh wait, 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 wait. He's vulnerable. So uh do 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 That should be 15. You win. Hell yeah. I pick him up. I walk with him into the hole I'm in under the door. I burrow 10 feet underground with him. And then I leave him there. <laughs> <laughs> here's, now, here's the fun fact about the burrow movement. You get to decide whether or not you leave a tunnel behind. There's a tunnel on the way down. There is no tunnel on the way back up. I bury him a lot. Okay. I seal him within the earth. All right. You did the cast of uh, yeah. Donatello? The cast what of... You... Um, uh, no, that's it. Perfect. No, 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 nobody correct. Nobody correct. That's, perfect. that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, it's the cast of Donatello. Yeah. yeah. Montiago. I have some very rare pepperoni pizzas back here. Yes, for rat's sake. The purple head the purple headband fucking ninja turtle just stealing his red headband brother behind the brick wall in the sewers. <laughs> This is totally not radical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, he's he's you know buried in there right now. That's that's what's that's what's going down. Deep night. Do you know what this is? And he shows you his fist. Uh, roll of quarters. What? A roll of quarters. It is called payback. So yes, it is like a roll of quarters. God damn it, I did a good one. Oh. I keep the change. Hum. What to do now? Um, right, I'm gonna keep, keep punching that guy. Wow, that sucks. How do you increase your critical hit range? Uh, it's an advantage. Huh. It's a one point per increase, too. So I paid four points to have a four wider crit range. 
That's <laughs> hella fuck it. Um, that's hella wide. I have to look into that. For yeah. sure. Especially like, just improve with critical. Especially with meteors, because that thing does so much, you know, damage. Oh yeah, that's like the thing that I can put it on. Fuck yeah. Although, I'm fairly certain it requires an attack roll to have a crit range. Yeah, Meteor has an attack roll. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, that one. I was thinking of the other one. Okay. Um. You're so I miss landslide. I I miss. I guess I just uh, another. Oh no! Fist you don't have down. to. You don't have to guess. I confirm. You missed. Yeah. Anyway, so another fist comes down from the rafters and dents the floor next to the Robin King. You're still invisible, though, right? Yes. I want to get one one last insult in. You look like a Dr. Seuss character that they had to cancel last month. Wow. Topical. That's so topical, I need a topical ointment to, to treat that burn. And then I punched him. Yeah, but I mean... Oh man, it dazes me a little. Oh, I don't love it. Like, I would be more concerned if you... Uh, I'm a little dazed, so I think I'm just gonna uh, right. try to attack Tremor. Yeah? You just gonna try to hit me, or...? Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna punch you, you know. Oh. Give me that crit, baby. No, don't roll good. Ow, that hurt my hand. Yeah, and that was just against my normal human skin. It's tougher than it looks. Yeah, I know. Pretty boy. Thank you. That wasn't meant as a compliment. I'm going to take it as one. You would. <laughs> You good, Grandma. You got very, you got a very, yeah, very handsome. Yeah, it, you know, being surrounded by rock is actually really good for your complexion. I didn't make you look uh, rugged, like you look like a, like yeah, a sort it, of. Uh... Oh, go ahead. It's like uh, having those those uh those rocks that they use to scrape off dead skin just against your body all the time, and it just it does wonders. Oh yeah. All right, so uh, there's an explosion, and rock flies up from where the tunnel was on either side, and uh, the Batman who frags comes out with smoke coming off of him. He just grenaded himself out of the tunnel. You know what I'm going to do? Sparta kick him back in. No, I'm just going to dig him deep into the pool. <laughs> Hey, buddy! Hey! Hey, look who's rejoining the party! Do you want to go back in the hole? Preferably not. I'm gonna put you back in the hole. No, don't do that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna this time, player makes sure that he's deep in the hole. Absolutely not. It's funnier when he hurts himself trying to get out. I'm going to entomb you within the earth. And this is temporary. Once we've dealt with your friend here, I'm gonna uh, let me walk you through it here. Uh, well, I pick you up like the baby that you are. You're my Fortunato. I can't target him because he's on the door. Oh, really? Here. Perfect. I probably could if I could zoom in. Uh, it's it's all good. I just you know. I tried to provide some of the effects that Fantasy Grounds, you know, allows for, so. Yeah. You grab him. Not I, All right. I, I'd make I you roll strength, but specifically the transformation takes away his racial strength, so. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's how you can do this. I'm, I'm putting him, I, I don't move, I jump and drop 10 feet into the hole and then bury him another 10 feet down and come back out of the hole. 
my, my, I, I gotta mention, my favorite part about that transformation strat is that it causes his racial regeneration to fall off, so he can't regen the status effect away. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Yeah, he, unless he is getting regeneration from like an outside spell or magic item. It, no, he but, he does, but he does have immortality from an outside force. Yeah, there's was a separate thing, but you know, right. uh, actual regen. Now you can't regen the transformed ability off unless it's a an external effect. Yep. All right, I, I once again sealed him within the earth. This time, uh, twenty feet down. All right. My burrow speed is only thirty feet, so I have to be very careful about how much I use. Um, Mind you, if I use 20 feet of burrow speed, I still have 300 feet of regular movement. Yeah. Yeah, just in case. I got you. Just in case. Oh. Oh, oh, he's hard to hit. He's a he's a sneaky sneaky fella. Okay, I'm gonna attack him again. You don't have to. Do a hit. Do a wow! I just keep rolling bad. I you just have to roll an eleven. I think these are. I'm. Like... I'm gonna spend another point of luck to try again. This is getting boring. I think these are my favorite dice yet of yours. Wow, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's a, that's Double a Jesus. <laughs> no, no, it's not him. It's Aaron Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, it doesn't add 10. It just makes it 10. You miss again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, it would have been a 20, 23, which we confirm misses. We so. did. We confirmed that. Hard confirm. I'm glad. By the way, I was really, you know, feeling like there's not enough hero points being thrown around. So I took luck and luck control in one of my forms so nice. that everyone can feel the love of luck. Oh, Jesus, my, my attack rolls have been gorgon. <laughs> uh, so, that'll end my turn, I guess. All right, I'm going to punch this. No, I'm not. Well, I mean, you try to, but I'm Batman. Yeah. Did you know that? I, I I gathered. Okay, well then, re show some respect on, put some respect on my name. Respect is earned, not given. I am Batman, you son of a... That, I'm just gonna punch you, just... Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. You're starting oh. to hurt my knuckles. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, I got a question about the Batman who frags. Yeah. How, how's he doing considering he no longer has his racial regeneration uh, taking that kind of damage un underground? Well, like I said, you know, fortunately, I, uh, I, uh, am, um, immortal. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, I don't love it. I'm still staggered, and uh, I have two bruises. And now I use my bolter gun, and I just start shooting my way out, but it doesn't work as well, so, like, I'm not out yet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And Great King Rat. Blastosa. You're like always missing the square. You want to be here? Is that where you're trying to be? Why did you roll? Why did I roll? Oh, one of those is well blocked. Oh. Oh, yeah, you but can't <laughs> untarget him because he's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. <laughs> My bad. I hit him. Give me that. Give me that sweet, sweet uh, fortitude save, please. 
on the on the Robin King. Oh yeah. I'm a I'm a king. Say it. You're also a Robin. Ooh, uh, you like that? That's funny. I you know what? Because I'm starting to get annoyed at this Robin. I'm gonna burn through a point of my luck control and force him to re-roll that fortitude save and take the worst result. What? That's that's pretty fucking poggers. What, dude? That's not cool at all, man. No, that's pretty. I, cool. Come on, come yeah, on. That's real cool. Chance. There's a 50% chance and a 25% chance he gets uh, the second degree. And the second degree is so much worse. Come on. Come on, please. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. The two <laughs> The two I, degrees. I hate you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. All right. Yeah. Now let me describe what's happening to him. Excuse me. He's sneezing. He's coughing. He's itchy. He's got nausea. He's got pain. He's vomiting. He's got agonizing pain. And he's about to go into a mild seizure. Man, the the side effects for whatever this medicine is supposed to cure is shit. Okay, so he's vulnerable and fatigued. What else? Uh, he's also now completely defenseless and immobile. He just lays Sorry, on the ground and starts shivering and and vomiting. vomiting. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Picks is up on the roof, going like, "I have used my ability to manipulate fate for a good thing today." He is defenseless and prone. I'm sorry, that's the wrong. Oh, thing. not immobile, defenseless and prone. Thank you. I was like, immobile doesn't seem to make sense, but whatever. Yeah, no, he drops to the floor. I, I'm, I'm just between disabled and defenseless, but defenseless is dropping to the floor so you can fucking vomit on all fours. It's so much. Yep. Watch it. This is gonna be the turn where Mister Picks actually rolls like an eighteen or something after it doesn't matter. <laughs> you roll the eleven. Oh, by the way, if he if he gets three degrees of failure, you're instantly incapacitated. Instantly what? Incapacitated. Oh my god. Oh, incapacitated? <laughs> so if he had rolled a natural one. Oh, yes, oh I'm not I'm not incapacitated. I just missed that. Gotcha. Yeah. That's that's three degrees of failure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> incapacitated technically also um Paralyzed. Nice. Oh you my have god. An actual like you go in, like you have a plug. You go, you have a... <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? <laughs> it's it's bad to fill a person with like rat plate. Yeah. Yeah. You just reintroduced the black death to this man. It's 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 <laughs> me. It's like all of the bad parts of the healing factor into like just all the bad like all the shit. None of the healing factor, just all of the worst parts. <laughs> uh, he, st- he, do- he, does- he does still get his fortitude bonus. Yeah, so that would be... Nine, seventeen, two degrees. So what's two degrees of your suffocate do? It's sort of like, if I remember correctly, it's to like restrict sort of like, and it's an affliction. I'm looking... He's just on the floor pissing and you suffocating. <laughs> Basically, as the name suggests, it's suffocating. It's sort of like crushing your lungs and such. You're suffocating him. He's on the floor and you're suffocating him. He's, he's he is. <laughs> because this guy is dangerous. Right. It's not. Right. 
I see that it has affliction, but it doesn't have anything attached to it. We're going to fix that. For now, I'm going to say that uh, since you're suffocating him, if they fail by uh, one or two degrees, that they would be um, deaf because the bubble is around them, so they can't hear. There is actually a pre-made suffocation power. Is there? Yeah. Let uh, me take a look. Suffocation. Boom. Look at that. I am just going to add that to your sheet under your suffocate. All right. Suffocation. <laughs> affliction. It makes me so happy that I got off the worst ability I've ever made. Oh, that's so good. And you have five ranks in that. Increased range, progressive. And... You can impose some debilitating condition... condition. Failure, one degrees dazed, two degrees stunned, three degrees incapacitated. So he is dazed and stunned. Perfect. Uh, okay. Hopefully, now that all this has happened to him, I can bop him into another reality. All right, good job, Deep Knight. Oh, yeah, I I I feel offended. I still hit, but I still feel offended. Yeah, uh, you should. Ah, what are you doing? Just just Kill bonk. Him. I just punch him in the back of the head against the floor. Duh. Quick, kill him. Uh I have reason not to do that. Uh, since I have my other actions left, can I, like, coil an arm around him and, like, pull him up into the ceiling? Oh. Yeah. Make him okay. make it. Teleport. Yes. I, I do that. I pull him up to me. Like, I'm, like, I'm, like, like I'm ceiling barnacle. Yes. Yeah, I, I was gonna... Alright. What were you gonna do? I was Kill gonna him. take, take his, uh... Take his stuff from him. Do it. You can he's, fly. He's bitch. in this. Oh yeah, he can. Yeah. The. All right. The 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 pile of rocks that was the suit now just reforms under my feet, and I just go up and start like taking the cloak off of this guy, taking his knife, take his wallet. <laughs> You take his driver's license, you steal his identity, you take his girl. I'm Bruce Wayne now. As soon as you go to touch him, the cloak teleports him away. Mm -hmm. Does Is there any hints of where the cloak teleported him to? No, but it's interesting to note that it didn't teleport him when Mr. Pix touched him. Hmm. Yes, next, that is really curious. Next, I say next time we should just kill him on the ground, like shoot him to death, cut his fucking head off. All right. If we do that, his soul might escape. I was going to contain him. Uh, seems that that will have to wait. We still have one other unwanted guest, though, don't we? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for Lobo to come up. Oh, we get to kick this shit on Lobo. <laughs> yeah, we do. Alright, so he's gone. Goodbye, loser. I'm almost sad he's not in his original form, because I can't find out if he has a penis bone and then break it. 
Well, I mean, he's still physically Lobo. And he's then just he, no, smaller. And then he, no, it's not a shrink. It's a polymorph. He he like his race converted. He blasts his way out of the uh, <clears throat> hole and jumps out and is is now out of the hole. How you feeling? Feeling good? Frag you. Feeling like a big man? Oh, wait. Uh, you can fraggle rock off. Oh, real edgy. I... Hey, is something fun I'm gonna do to you. Wait, in this campaign, has Lobo even said Bastich even once? Oh, no, I forgot to say Bastich. Well, it is Batman controlling him. Right. Here we go. A complete mess. Gonna extra effort. There we go. Fuck you, bitch. You're fatigued. Yeah. Oh no. Oh that's you're pretty strong for a rat. Yeah, I just I, I sink my teeth into his shoulder and just shake him. That was my big bite attack. I hurt him physically. It's like there's blood. Oh, uh, I don't like it. Hey, how does it feel to, like, uh... What's the word I'm thinking of? Oh, die. How does it feel to be in a position where you can die? Well, I don't think I can. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. You can't die, can you? You're one of those immortal folks. Well, I've got good news for you. I've got something planned for you. Worse than death. Uh, Robin? Oh, he's gone. Ro- Robin? He's gone. Deep Knight, what do you do? <laughs> Lobo needs an adult. <laughs> I am an adult. Hazard? Deep Knight is going to help restrain the Batman who frags. No, just beat him on concert. Hurt him physically. Beat the shit out of him. Punch him. Kick him. Kill him. All right. Going to do that. Stick your fingers in his eyes. Guys, why are you all being so fucked up? He died. Well, he's certainly a threat to existence. Well, yeah, but there's like sanctioned ethical removal. You guys are just being malicious. Yeah, and he's also a four foot, you know, pygmy right now. Listen, listen, listen. He's trying to destroy our universe. I think a little bit of murder is okay. You're going to hold that against him? Yes. Well, the thing is, I'm just pointing out, is killing him in this context is not a permanent solution. Oh, no, no. Here's my idea. Are you ready? Very yeah. Cool. I'm going to cut his head off his body, and you're going to take him back to that dumb little dimension. Uh, hell no. Body, no part of him is going back there. I have other places I can take him. More secure and less dangerous. Well, then do that. Just get, get his head out of reality so I can make his body into dog and cat. Okay. I'm just wondering if he dies, his soul might be buried off somewhere before I can snatch it. I can't die. Will you guys get it through your heads? What's about to happen will be very painful. I'm I'm gonna kill you. Alright. Is that your turn, Deep Knight? Hazard. Hazard? That'll be all. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna target him. And then I'm gonna attack. Come on, high numbers. What the nads? Uh, any degrees of success on that? Uh, let's see. I am disabled. Uh, vulnerable. Okay, so vulnerable. All of my defenses are halved. My parry is a 5, 15, 1 degree. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I guess I just do damage to him. Damage, damage. Oh, man. I'm dazed, but I was already dazed. Yeah. Oh, man, I forgot what time it was. Damn it. Oh, yeah, I'm don't worry. This is, the, this is the last round. It's my turn. Get him. Move into here. I'm gonna punch him. Oh, oh yeah! And remember right. to add the five now. Yep. So that's uh, boy, boy. Do you need that's degrees a... of success? Uh, well, I know, I know that that's more than three. Yes. Or three or more. Yes. So, uh... Oh. Oh, boom. You knocked me out. Oh. Congratulations. You defeated uh, someone who is four feet tall. Alright. So, combat over? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so... At this, you know, Mr. Pix is going to advocate Regan. So, I'd recommend no one take any lethal action. And you just let me do my thing. Good. All right. Wonderful. Mr. Pix is going to extend a hand over, grab Lobo, and uh, switching to his warping form is going to exit this reality. Okay. And that is exactly where we're going to leave off. And okay. Cool. I, I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone. Good, Good gaming. gaming.